In this lecture, we will discuss the Cauchy problem for the non-homogeneous wave equation. We already discussed that uh, the homogeneous wave equation has the form utt minus c square into uxx equal to 0 for minus infinity less than x less than infinity and t greater than 0. This is the uh, homogeneous wave equation. Now, what about non homogeneous wave equation? A non homogeneous wave equation has the form non homogeneous wave equation has the form utt minus c square into uxx equal to some f of x comma t for minus infinity less than x less than infinity and t greater than 0, where f is a given function of x and t. Okay. So this is the homogeneous wave equation and this is the non-homogeneous wave equation. So uh, consider the Cauchy problem of non-homogeneous wave equation. Consider the Cauchy problem utt minus c square and uxx equal to f of x comma t for minus infinity less than x less than infinity t greater than 0 along with the conditions u of x is 0 equal to f of x and ut of x is 0 equal to g of x for minus infinity less than x less than infinity okay so uh, this is the Cauchy problem for non homogeneous wave equation utt minus c square into uxx equal to f of x comma t x values from minus infinity to infinity that is infinite string and t greater than 0 u of x is 0 equal to f of x ut x is 0 equal to g of x okay here is a presence of an external force f okay so uh, this Cauchy problem one models uh, the vibrations of a very large string or long string in the presence of an external force F. Okay. That is the Cauchy problem 1. Here, uh, as in the case of um, homogeneous Cauchy problem, here also uh, f and g are given functions. Uh, here, uh, f represents the shape of the string at the time t equals 0 and g represents the vertical velocity uh, of the string uh, at t equal to, at time t equal to 0. Okay. As in every linear problem, here also we have the uniqueness of uh, the homogeneous problem implies the uniqueness of the non-homogeneous problem. Uniqueness of the homogeneous problem implies the uniqueness of the non-homogeneous problem. Now uh, we have a proposition Cauchy problem utt minus c square into uxx equal to f of xt minus infinity less than x less than infinity t greater than 0 u of x is 0 equal to f of x ut x is 0 equal to g of x for minus infinity less than x less than infinity
admits at most one solution that means the Cauchy problem for a uh, non homogeneous verification at uh, admits at most one solution that is if the solution exists uh, it is unique okay if the solution exists it is unique so uh, for the proof assume that u1 and u2 are solutions of one this Cauchy problem so to prove that u1 equal to u2 okay. so since u1 and u2 are solutions of the non homogeneous problem one we have u equal to u1 minus u2 is a solution of of the corresponding homogeneous problem homogeneous problem utt minus c square nu xx equal to 0 for minus infinity less than x less than infinity t greater than 0 along with the conditions u of x is 0 equal to 0 ut x is 0 equal to 0 for minus infinity less than x less than infinity so uh, we have uh, we are given that we are assumed that c u1 and u2 are solutions of the uh, non homogeneous uh, cauchy problem so uh, since the u1 and u2 are the solutions of the non homogeneous cauchy problem we have uh, their uh, difference u u1 minus u2 is a solution of the homogeneous cauchy problem homogeneous cauchy problem ut minus c square du x equal to 0 uh, minus infinity less than x less than infinity for t greater than 0 and the u of x is 0 equal to 0 u t x is 0 equal to 0 okay so uh, therefore uh, on the other hand we uh, we we have uh, some u equal to 0 the trivial solution exists for this uh, homogeneous cauchy problem so on the other hand v of xt equal to 0 is also a solution that is a trivial solution a solution of the homogeneous Cauchy problem 2 okay because v equal to 0 v of xt equal to 0 satisfies these two conditions that is v equal to 0 implies vx equal to 0 so vxx equal to 0 so this is equal to 0 and vtt is also 0 okay so this satisfies this uh, differential equation and at t equal to 0 v equal to 0 v of xt equal to 0 implies at any value of t v equal to 0 and vt is also 0 so at time t equal to 0 we have v of x 0 equal to 0 and v of vt x 0 is also 0 so uh, a trivial solution exists for this uh, non -hom homogeneous differential equation or homogeneous Cauchy problem. So, v equal to 0 is a solution for this uh, homogeneous uh, Cauchy problem. Okay, But uh, we already proved that the uniqueness of the homogeneous uh, Cauchy problem of wave equation. So, therefore, uh, by the, therefore, because uh, uniqueness of the uh, solution of the uh, homogeneous Cauchy problem of wave equation we have uh, this homogeneous equation as a unique solution so we already obtained that u equal to u1 minus u2 is a solution of this homogeneous uh, Cauchy problem and v equal to 0 is a solution of, uh, of this homogeneous Cauchy problem so we have u equal to v that is equal to 0 is a solution of this homogeneous Cauchy problem okay so by the uniqueness of
homogeneous Cauchy problem for wave equation we have here u is equal to for u of x t equal to v is equal to 0 so this is since uh, v equal 0 so a which is 0 okay therefore we have u equal 0 means u1 is equal to u1 minus u2 equal 0 that implies u1 is equal to u2 so if u1 and u2 are solutions of uh, this non-homogeneous Cauchy problem then u1 is equal to u2 so uh, for non-homogeneous Cauchy problem if the solution exists there is, uh, it is unique okay if the solution exists it is unique 